How to fix update KV5050900 failed to install in Windows 11 24 H2? Hello friends, follow the steps to fix the issue. The first step is install the update from Microsoft Update Catalog. Go to the video description and click on the Microsoft Update Catalog link. You will reach this page. Check the system type first so that you can download the supporting file for your computer. Click on start. Go to settings. Select system. Click on about. This is system type 64 bit operating system x64 based processor x64 based systems this file is for my computer check yours then click on download click on both the links one by one let the download complete once completed click on the file explorer icon from the taskbar Go to the downloads folder. Right click on uh, the update file. Select open. Do you want to install the following Windows software update? Click on yes. After restarting a couple of times, the update will be installed. Then uh, right click on this update file. Select open. If this is not installed, there is no need to worry about. The update might have been installed earlier. The next step is modify services. Click on search. Type services. Click on services. Find Windows update in the list this one right click on this service select properties the startup type must be automatic here if uh, automatic is not selected change it to automatic and click on start click on apply click on ok right click on windows update service select restart Look for the background intelligent transfer service. This one. Right click on this service. Select properties in the same way. Change the startup type to automatic. Service status is running. If the service status is stopped on your computer, click on start. Click on apply. Click on OK. Right click on background intelligent transfer service. Select restart. Now find cryptographic services. This one. Right click on this service. Click on properties. Select automatic here for the startup type. And click on start if it is highlighted. Click on apply. Click on OK. Right click on the cryptographic services, select restart. Close the services and now check for the update. Click on start, click on settings, go to windows update and click on check for updates. The next method is reset windows update components. Click on search, type cmd. Select run as administrator, click on yes. These are the commands to reset windows update cache. Run one command at a time. These commands are given in the description. Copy the first command. Paste into the command prompt. Hit enter. Second command. Paste into the command prompt. Hit enter. Third command. Paste into the command prompt. Hit enter. 
in the same way run all these commands and then restart your computer after closing the command prompt and uh, files and apps if you want to reset windows update components through a downloadable file go to the link from the description the link will download uh, this file click on show in folder right click on the downloaded file select extract all click on extract right click on the cmd file select run as administrator click on the more info link select run anyway click on yes on the user account control pop-up click on ok ok click ok on all the pop-ups Once completed, restart the computer and see if the issue is solved and the update is installed. Run SFC and DISM tools. Again, open command prompt. CMD in search. Right click on command prompt. Run as administrator. Yes, on USC pop up. run sfc command first press enter after the scanning is completed run the dism tools copy the first line paste into the command prompt and hit enter Copy the second line, paste into the command prompt, press enter, copy the last line for restore health, paste into the command prompt and press enter. After running all the commands, restart your computer and then try to install the update. Check for disk space. Make sure that uh, your computer has enough space to accommodate the update. For this, click on uh, File Explorer icon. Go to this PC and check uh, the drive where the Windows is installed. On my computer, Windows is installed on C drive and 78.9 GB is free. In the same way, check uh, on your computer. If free space is not available, you can run disk cleanup to delete unnecessary files. Click on search. Type uh, disk cleanup. Click on disk cleanup. Select the correct drive. Click on OK. Click on cleanup system files. Again, click on OK. Check all the boxes here. And click on OK. Select delete files. If you want more space, then you can uninstall unnecessary apps or less important apps. Right click on start. Select installed apps. Find the less important apps in the list. Click on three dots and select uninstall.
once uh, your computer has enough free space try to install the update if the error is still persistent then uh, perform in place upgrade open a browser type windows 11 download hit enter click on this link download windows 11 scroll down to download windows 11 disk image iso for x64 devices if you are running arm64 based device then uh, click on this link and select download here click on select download select windows 11 multi edition iso for x64 devices Click on download now. Select the product language. Check the language first. In correct language may create issues. Click on start. Go to settings. Select time and language. And click on language and region. Windows display language, English United States. Select English United States here. Click on choose one. English United States. Click on confirm. Now click on 64 bit download. After downloading is completed, close the browser and go to the download location. Click on File Explorer icon from the taskbar. Select downloads, which is usually the download location. Right click on the downloaded ISO file. Select mount. Click on open. Right click on setup.exe. Click on open. Select run. Yes. Click on next. On the install Windows 11 window, follow the on screen instructions and uh, complete the installation. That's all, friends. Thanks for watching the video.